Got you naked in my cellar, never let you leave. You're my doll and I'm your fella, got much love to give. Naked in my cellar, do 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 do. Naked in my cellar, do 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 do. <laughs>
Was that, was that the lead singer guy without the makeup on, with the beard, in this? Was that him? I don't know what he looks like without the makeup on. It could be. It probably is. I don't know. <laughs> I love it! <laughs> Dude, I think I've said something like this along these lines anyway before. I just, I'm such a big fan of a gimmick. I mean, like, the music is, it's, it's simple, and it's catchy, like I said before, like a better version, better, scarier version of, of Kiss. You know, it's all about, like, the, the pageantry, the presentation of it, the costumes, probably some pyro and shit. I've never actually seen them live, but I have to assume they have a pretty, ga pretty goddamn sick live show with the costumes the way they are and intricate and everything. But just, like, simple, very catchy, very move to it while you're drunker than fuck kind of music. That's what I'm all about, dude. I used to go see a band called The Matadors. They were like a horror billy, the rockabilly type thing. The lead fucking, <laughs> the lead singer guitarist, he would, he would do this cool thing. I don't know how he did it. I never found out. He would like kind of flick a fucking flame off the end of his fucking, his guitar. It was like, I don't know how he fucking did it. It was cooler than fuck, but then he pulled this big old fat fucking fake cock out of his pants. <laughs> And they would like be spraying shit all over people in the front row. <laughs> it's it unfucking believable. There's another band called the Legendary Clopex, like grungier than fuck kind of Gigi Allen style punk rock. And in the middle of their set, they would just like the bassist would just stand there playing a riff, drummers playing, and then the fucking <laughs> the fucking guitarist and the fucking and the fucking the singer would get into like a wrestling match. They'd have a fucking wooden table set up in the middle of the mosh pit covered in like thumbtacks and fucking mouse traps while you weren't paying attention. You were watching the band, they're setting all this shit up and then the fucking the singer would get body slammed through the fucking the table with thumbtacks and shit and we'd like set up the th the fucking mouse traps and throw them at him. I caught him in the junk one time with one. Cause at that point he's stripped down to a fucking like leather thong. It was like basically like a GG Allen parody type thing. It was un fucking believable. I loved every second of it. Just every band that I happened across that had a cool like weird fun gimmick like that was just always so much better than just seeing a band live. And obviously if a band is fantastic and, and you love them, you know, to fuck, you know, and you, and you go see them live and it's just them on stage playing, maybe some lights and stuff, that's still pretty great. But just the pageantry of the costumes and the fire and the, just the, the fun of it. You know what I'm saying? With that said though, I mean, I loved this track. It was kind of like a blend of like hard rock and like an 80s pop tune. With the almost like key tar sound, I guess, like the, the ladies playing the, the keyboard or whatever. So that makes sense. But I just imagine a key tar being a whole lot more fun. More fun. Kind of like, like on Ailstorm. <laughs> I kind of wonder though, every time I've seen the video of these guys, and I, again, I've never really looked into like what they look like outside of costume or anything like that, or who really they are, or even their names to be fucking honest. Uh, I, I kind of wonder if maybe the lady in in this uh, in this ensemble is not actually a lady. <laughs> it's just the dude dressed up like a chick. Maybe it's not. But I think that would be fucking hilarious because it's got the full face covered costume and everything, and it's just the legs showing. And that could be anybody, you know. This guy reaches out and grabs her ass in the video. <laughs> Who knows? I want to give another big fat fucking shout out to Dallas Heading on the YouTubes for letting me know this exists, because that means that there's some more. There's some more going to be coming out, I have to hope, and there's another... <laughs> there's another fucking a music or lyric video for another song they, they put out three weeks ago, Shake the Baby Silence. <laughs> of course, of course. How is YouTube even allowing that to be a thing? There's no way they're monetizing that. <laughs> but hey, what did you think of this motherfucker? Have you ever heard of these guys before? Or was it the very first time here in the track? Regardless, what did you think of this song? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, there'll be a link in the description for this video. So you can watch it for yourself. 
For screen for audio, we get the full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic event. <laughs>